Here is the earliest colossal statue from ancient Egypt. The Great Sphinx stands 20 meters, or 66 feet, high and 73 meters, or 240 feet, long. It was carved from a natural limestone outcrop of three geological layers, some hard and durable, some soft and fragile. A U-shaped ditch was excavated around it on three sides. This royal image with the head of a man and the body of a crouching lion came to symbolize many aspects of Egyptian kingship, power, and eventually Egyptian solar religion as well. It came to be identified with Horem Achet, the Horus in the horizon. The Sphinx's modern Arabic name, however, is Abu al-Hol, the father of terror. The limestone quarried away from around the upper part of the Sphinx's body was probably used for Khafre's valley temple, while softer limestone from below the chest area was used for the Sphinx temple. For a number of reasons, the Sphinx most likely dates to Khafre, although recent arguments have assigned it to Khufu and even to his son and successor, Jedifre. The nose was lost during the medieval period and not shot off by Napoleon's soldiers, as is often claimed. A portion of the beard is now in the British Museum, while the Uraeus cobra head from the king's brow is in the Cairo Museum. Traces of color remain, but it is not completely clear if the entire sphinx was painted or merely the face and headcloth. The Sphinx has undergone numerous alterations and restorations from the New Kingdom through the Roman period and down to the present day. During the New Kingdom in the 15th century BC, Amenhotep II built a small temple to the northeast. His son, Thutmose IV, carried out extensive restorations and erected a stela between the paws, recounting how the divine Sphinx appeared in a dream, promising to bestow kingship on the young prince if he would only clear the Sphinx's body of sand. This granite stela actually comes from a lintel above a doorway of Khafre's pyramid temple. It was perhaps even the entrance lintel at the western end of the causeway. During this period, the Sphinx's beard may have been added and possibly also a standing royal statue six to seven meters tall. That's about 20 to 23 feet. We know this from scenes on New Kingdom stele found around the area. And the hole on top of the Sphinx's head may have been intended for the addition of a double crown.